All right, we're running some test material. These are some old palings. Just get a feel for the system. Here it is after it's been running a little bit. The two buckets down here, the tailings bucket and the pump bucket. Pump walk bucket's actually pretty clean down there. This has been classified down to one eighth and we're running it kind of slow. There's about a six inch drop on this four foot flue system. See if I can get a close up of it going on on that first ribble. The first couple ribbles. I'm really just uh, trying to collect some of the black sand. I'm not sure how well this is going to come out, but we got a pretty good collection of black sand going on down here. Got a little hop over our first ribble. It kind of smooths out here as we go down. It's running nice and even. There's not going to be much gold in here. There's probably gold in the black sand. That's why we haven't gotten rid of it. Real small stuff. But no, we found some larger stuff when we panned it out. It was just a small sampling of material. Here she is, all the way down. I don't know what's coming off the, the last. I'm going to just move my way up the sluice box here where you see the material. Yeah, this is just a test. Just to see how stuff flows, how the black sand gets caught up. We'll process this black sand here. There's another system we have. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job collecting that black sand all up here in the first circle behind it. And then as we move down, I can see some distinct lines of black sand. Alright, here is the sluice after we stop the water. Hopefully you're going to be able to pick up on this. There's a couple really good black sand streaks here and black sand kind of all through here. A couple really distinct dark ones right here that where it came over and where that material sort of stopped at first and came over and then it continues down here. I'm not sure how good you can see it here but there's a couple streaks you can see where it went up underneath there and got settled there pretty well. It almost looks like uh, I can't quite see under this last one or this one, two, three, the fourth, third behind the third ripple down. But it looks like there is. It looks like there's a lot of black sand just tucked up underneath both ways. It looks like it collected it kind of under these ripples and then laid out a pretty good pattern up underneath where the water and the material built it and started working over these last sets of ripples. We didn't expect much gold in this. It's already been worked. But um, I'm sure there's micron gold and really teeny pieces. I'm thinking I'm seeing a bunch of little tiny stuff. Well, not a bunch, but uh, definitely some smaller pieces here. Probably gonna want to wash the top end of that sluice. We've got some build up here of a little bit of black sand, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but there may be just little tiny, tiny specks in here. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a couple little specks all scattered through here, and that means I'll probably have some back behind that too. Well, there you go. I kind of like the way it ran at that speed with that classification. I have a gold wheel I could run this stuff too, but it's kind of fun to use this. I like this one. It can run bigger material and it's just kind of fun to use. Alrighty, recirculating sluice.